wind, rain, and big surf hitting the coast. The storm made for dangerous driving conditions. This car flipped off the freeway in National City. The Bobo Genesis storm is pounding the Sierra Nevada with a major winter storm in the Mammoth Lakes area. Terry Jordan can't sing, and he's never mastered an instrument. Nope. But the three-time cancer survivor did go to Nashville and record his first album. CBS 8 News Live at 6 starts right now. A second Pacific storm moves in, causing flooding on our streets and freeways. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. And I'm Kirsten Holmes in for Marcella Lee. It's a strong storm system and it's been a rainy day, but Northern California, they've taken the brunt of this. A toddler was killed in Sonoma County overnight. A tree fell on his family's mobile home. Here at home, we've seen car crashes and street flooding all throughout the day. Tonight we have team coverage. Our Brian White is in Ocean Beach, an area prone to flooding anytime we see winter weather. CBS 8's Elizabeth Sanchez is in the South Bay with conditions there tonight. And meteorologist Sean Stiles is live in Mammoth, where there's several feet of fresh snow and it's still coming down. Let's check in first with Chief Meteorologist Carlene Chavis for a look at what's happening right now. Carlene. Right now, things are a lot quieter than they were earlier today. We had the bulk of that moisture rolling in the morning and afternoon hours, and especially around lunchtime. We had some crashes out there with more slick roads. Now, when you take a look at the radar, you are seeing a few isolated uh, pockets of rain out there. We're seeing that for Santee as well as for Fallbrook and some lighter activity for Palomar Mountain. So for the most part, we are done with widespread coverage, but we're continuing to see a steady stream of moisture across Northern California, an additional three to six inches of rain expected. They're going to continue to get the brunt of it as that storm track just stays well towards the north. We're going to dry out a little bit more as we go into tonight through tomorrow and all the way into the weekend. So we could see a few more isolated showers out there and some pockets of rain until the next few hours. But once we get past about 8 p.m. tonight, that's when everything dries out. And then as we go into tomorrow, we are not talking about the rain, but the big surf right along the coastline. And that's where we have those watches and warnings. You're seeing a high surf warning as well as talking about that gale warning and coastal flood advisory. So big waves in the works and could lead to some coastal flooding, especially when you're talking about the high tide tomorrow morning around six feet and eight o'clock hour. Our Brian White has been working the coastal areas all day, tracking the storm's impact on some of our beach communities. And tonight he's live in Ocean Beach where the huge waves have been pounding the shoreline. Brian. Very blustery, very, very blustery. Very good day to walk, walk on it. Not such a good day to go swim, swim in it or surf in it. Large swells that have been building throughout the day with up to 10 to 12 foot sets have lifeguards warning people to stay out of the water. We're advising no swimming activity, uh, extremely large surf, 10 to 12 foot. Rain and wet roads along the coast had some drivers on edge. Hell. <laughs> Just hell, just downpour after downpour. I left extra early so I could get here on time. There's not a lot of drainage on the roads here, so it's even with not a ton of rain, it gets a little uh, scary driving with all the water flying up. Business owners in South Mission Beach did their best to keep the area from flooding. Bob Ruane clears leaves from this storm drain, which can flood very easily. Clogs up, that's why we've got a barricade in front of our door, and the office will get six inches of water in it. So. So we got to do our preventive maintenance. Julia and Amanda Mench are sisters from Chicago vacationing here in Mission Beach. It's, it's rainy. It's very cold. <laughs> it's very rainy. This is not what I was expecting California to be like. Because of the rainy weather, they've had to adjust their plans for today. Stay um, inside. <laughs> yeah, we just got some takeout. We're going to eat some food, maybe watch a movie, and then we're about to go grocery shopping. Yeah. After that, we'll be you know, inside for the rest of the day. <laughs> Due to the windy conditions, city crews were busy picking up fallen tree limbs and palm fronds here around Mission Bay. And though we didn't see a lot of flooding in the coastal areas today, lifeguards warned that it could still happen. Obviously, the areas are very saturated. We've been getting rain off and on for several days now, so it can potentially flood. If we have a heavy downpour, it may flood low-lying areas. So once again, use uh, caution. Don't drive through. Uh, ponding or areas where you think you might get into trouble if you're passing through some of those low-lying areas. 
And we're here at the OB Pier where you can see the lock is on the gate here because the surf is so big and it's only going to get bigger into the overnight hours and into tomorrow morning. We apologize for our audio uh, glitch uh, on our intro here, but um, you know, it's uh, we're, we're here in Ocean Beach and uh, Brian White for CBS 8. All right, thank you for that, Brian. And a reminder to be careful if you're out there driving in this weather. Slow down, just give yourself some extra time. There were crashes on the wet roads throughout the county, including a rollover in National City. CBS 8's Elizabeth Sanchez is live tonight with that and what else we've seen out there today, Elizabeth? Well, Carlo, this accident happened on the I-5 freeway near here, and you know the storm has passed us by for now, but you can see that there's still a lot of water on the roadway here, and it doesn't take much for a car to lose traction on the roads. With the rain coming down, signs on the roads warn drivers to be careful. Wet roads can cause drivers to lose control. The California Highway Patrol says weather and speed are to blame for an accident involving two vehicles on the I-5 North at the plaza exit. A small SUV flipped off the freeway. There's a culvert and uh, the car came off the roadway, probably rolled once or twice and landed upside down on the culvert. The male adult driver and his passenger in the SUV were able to get themselves out of the vehicle before the fire department arrived. It was probably a creative exit. There's uh, three sides of the vehicle are blocked by the culvert and they had to climb out the windows because the doors won't open. Fire officials and the CHP reported multiple accidents across the county. The driver of the Honda was able to walk away, but paramedics took the two in the silver SUV to the hospital. The SUV landed just feet away from a homeless encampment, which worries Raymond Mendoza, who works nearby. You can clearly see where with that homeless encampment there, it's just a matter of time before, you know, someone probably gets someone from that encampment dies in an accident. Mendoza drives that part of the freeway for work and says the road is not a problem until it rains. Unprecedented rain, slow down, uh, you know, watch other drivers around you and be prepared for what, what could happen because these are uh, not days we're used to. And the fire department and CHP says this has happened. This kind of accident has happened in this area before. There's a narrow bend on the road and then there's no guardrail. So they say when it's raining like we had today, you just have to slow down and be careful. Carlo Kirsten. Thanks, Elizabeth. A big rig crash on an icy road in the Sierras was caught on a dash camera. <laughs> That happened this morning in Sierra County when one big rig tried to pass another near the Interstate 80 and Highway 20 junction in the Yuba Pass. The video was taken by Champion Transportation Inc., but the crash did not involve one of their drivers. We're told there were no chains on the tires of the truck that crashed. Chain controls have been in effect on all Sierra highways all day long. No injuries were reported. I'm trying to figure out why he didn't have chains. Okay, so other parts of the Sierras are also being hit pretty hard. Three feet of snow has fallen on Mammoth Mountain in the past few days, with four more expected by Monday. Meteorologist Sean Stiles is live there tonight with an update for us. Sean. You know, Carlo, your timing couldn't be better. Take a look at this snow plow moving through the area right now. We have been seeing heavy snow falling in the area over the past 24 hours. In fact, they've seen over two to three feet. And here at upper mid-level resort areas, three to four feet. Mammoth Mountain looking at 123 to 175 inch base. The atmospheric river is plowing into the central Sierra Nevada, bringing tremendous amounts of snow. We talked to some locals of what they thought about it. This storm is definitely the biggest one we've gotten so far, but um, we're also supposed to get probably three more storms. And the next one's supposed to bring about seven feet. Yeah, next one's supposed to bring about seven feet. So we're out here trying to have fun and be safe and take care of our neighbors. And we've lived here many years, and uh, yeah, this is definitely probably the worst that we've seen in a while. So the old saying, careful for what you wish for after uh, several years of drought, all they hoped for was a great snow season. They are seeing it in the central and northern Sierra Nevada. Uh, we were out on the slopes this morning and this afternoon, and I got to tell you, there is so much snow out here. They're expecting another foot tonight, a break in the action, and then more snow on the way if plans 
have you coming to the central and Sierra, northern Sierra Nevada. Check with CHP. The 395 was closed down. Now, Carlo, I know you're making your way up here, so make sure you have chains in the vehicle. I, I remember I told you, oh, you won't need chains. Have chains with you. Anyone coming up into the central and northern Sierra Nevada, tons of snow, the atmosphere river wide open and the uh, storm continues to pound the central and northern Sierra Nevada. We'll send it back to you in the studio. Thanks, Sean. Appreciate it. The heads up, too. Yeah. I got the cables and all-wheel drive. Fingers crossed the roads are open. Just keep the chains in case you need them. Just put them in the trunk this time of year. Exactly. Meantime, our storm watch coverage continues tonight. Coming up in our next half hour, we'll have more from Northern California where things turn deadly. It's not only that the lights are on, we know that he's home. Plus, some good news tonight on DeMar Hamlin's recovery. But first, a lot of frustration tonight over SDG&E's planned rate hikes. We're working for you to get answers.